This is EV Power's review of the Honda E. This Honda E, Honda's very first fully electric car, has been highly anticipated because of its looks. At the front, you've got these circular headlights and this black plastic front, which I have to say is a little bit too plasticky. One good thing about the design is the fact that the charging point is actually at the front, so there's no more wrestling with those very heavy cables to try and drag them around to the side of the vehicle to charge. This car also features pop-out door handles that you'd normally find on an Aston Martin or a Jaguar Land Rover. And yes, just like the Audi e-tron that we reviewed recently, this has cameras instead of mirrors. Although Honda actually do the screens on the inside slightly better. The boot space coming in at 171 litres is 50 litres larger than its rival electric Mini E that we test drove last week. And like any Japanese car, it is full of many, many, many electric toys. The first thing you notice, that if you need to charge a laptop whilst you're in the car, you can, because it actually has a 13 amp socket. What this car also has is screens aplenty. So you've got two screens for the wing mirrors, you've then got a normal screen in front of you, but then you've got this full width screen, making it feel like you're actually driving the Starship Enterprise and not the Honda E. This large double screen at the front, which is mainly for the infotainment, also has the ability to play an aquarium screensaver, should you so wish. Whilst Honda have clearly spent most of their time on the tech inside the car, what they haven't spent more than about two minutes on is the actual seats. They're most uncomfortable, and it's almost like sitting in a church pew with absolutely no support for you whatsoever. Although Honda actually market this as lounge style. So what's this Honda E like to drive? Well, it's pretty much like most city cars. However, this is a city car with a bit of a punch. If you put your foot down, it really zips away from the line. You can also put this car in one pedal mode that dials up the regen braking when you lift off, making it possible to stop without even touching the brake. This Honda E's range is 130 miles, some 15 miles shy of the much more exciting Mini. This Honda E, however, does feature many safety features you'd only find on much larger cars, including automatic braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and automatic high beam headlights. As Honda have chosen to give this car a 35 and a half kilowatt battery, it does mean that if you're using a 100 kilowatt DC rapid charger, you can charge this car in under 30 minutes. Whilst I'm not totally convinced who the target market for this car is, it is basically a second car that you'd use to car the kids around in the back or modestly sized adults at a push. However, with this being Honda's very first fully electric car and the manufacturer announcing they're leaving Formula One at the end of the 2021 season to focus on electric cars, the future definitely is looking good for Honda. But would I buy this Honda E? Sorry, absolutely not. Given its price bracket and competitors, for me, it's mini electric all the way.